this woman has hit a new level of insane and deranged that I don't even know where to begin. So Oz Media recently dropped a video titled Dear Illuminati, where he goes over tons and tons of details about the ongoing lawsuit he's had against him filed by Blair, also known as Illuminati. His video is over an hour long. I don't have time to break down every single point he made in there, but there are a lot of very interesting and insane things he revealed in this video that truly just show how delusional Illuminati really is, and how I think she is completely and totally evil evil while simultaneously a moron. We get to see Illuminati talk about how much money she made every month and exactly how much she's lost since two years ago before she made that terrible post against Legal Eagle and that she blames that loss on not her own actions, not her doing that terrible post or her video response that was just filled with delusional lies about various people. No, the reason that she lost all that money was because a Discord moderator of hers posted a statement on Twitter saying that she failed at serving him papers for a lawsuit. And the reason that Discord moderator was served in the first place is because he accused her of saying the R word in private, which paints her as a hypocrite and a bigot. And yes, that might sound complicated and ridiculous, but that's actually what this lawsuit states. And of course, there's other various bullshit reasons like that scattered throughout this whole suit. I'm surprised this clown case hasn't been thrown out instantly, but she has been manipulating and lying around this case so much that the judge has had to do his job and deny the motion to dismiss. We also get to see her insane civil protection order she tried to put out towards Oz and Wonder. And we also got a ton of new information about this other party involved in the drama, who also goes by Felix the Kit Kat. And through what is revealed in Felix's section of the lawsuit, we really just see how much much of a serial liar Blair is, and how she's willing to do literally anything to try to pettily retaliate against Oz, Felix, Wonder, everyone involved in this lawsuit. So let's really quickly just start from the top. About 15 months ago, Illuminati made this terrible tweet where she tried to call out Legal Eagle. Not Legal Eagle's editors broaching my editors to take my video style, and then when they didn't give up the info, they literally copied it. They just changed the color from purple to blue, huh? interesting. And if you weren't around for this drama, she's talking about that the editors of Legal Eagle's video would use ripped paper effects like this, and also, amazingly, highlight text on a screen, which is one of the easiest things you can learn of all time. The other day was zero knowledge in After Effects. I was able to learn how to highlight text on a screen in 30 minutes. It is extremely simple and absolutely not something that Blair owns. And this was totally delusional when she did this last year, and Legal Eagle rightfully called her out for it, responding and shitting on her. Pretty shortly after this, a bunch of people that were close to Blair made Twitter threads, including people like Oz Media, whose video we're watching, Wonder, and The Click, who is going to be kind of central to this video today. All of them made tweet threads, and then eventually Illuminati tried to make a response video, where she made a whole bunch of just terrible nothingness points, and then tried to falsely accuse Click of harboring pedophiles in his Discord, which was absolutely untrue, and also accused Click of saying the R word, which she would never ever do because it's so horrible and disgusting. And in this video, the Click included this screenshot, which showed that Illuminati was requesting someone she knew to dig up dirt on the Click and find clips of him saying the R word, and that she would pay this person $200 to do it. I need you to work with Blank to help me find Click saying the R slur in Sad Milk's raw audio. Blank said, I can do that. Let me get a shower. I'll be down. She says, She claims he he said it in a sad milk video but can't remember which one and she's over her head with shit i'll pay you 200 dollars to find it now obviously this shows that illuminati had some kind of vendetta against click there's a whole bunch of lore there they used to like i don't know work together or do stuff together but she's had this vendetta for years and basically tried to save this information had this come up where Click would try to distance himself from her and expose her. And Oz proved this by showing a DM where he says, Wonder is where the you and Click will go into mutually assured destruction territory. And Illuminati responds, Nah, I'm not going to attack Click unless it becomes public gossip or a drama channel picks it up, then I will nuke him. And she pretty much harbored this resentment for years until Click decided to expose her for being the delusional insane person that she is which he only did in video form after Illuminati made her insane video accusing him of all that weird shit with Discord and saying the R slur. But anyway, that's just a quick recap. There's obviously a ton more information involving like Oz Media and other parties involved in this whole thing. 
But realistically, breaking down this one hour video is not going to happen in this short video that I'm making. So if you want to watch that, I'm considering doing a stream going over this. Leave a comment below if you would like to see that. I might do a stream on this to just go over everything in a long form version. But I'm just going to show some new important details that Oz revealed. So let's start with this. First, he kind of shows some documents that really break down the way that Blair's brain operates and that she is completely focused on trying to gag her opponents forcing them not to be able to speak publicly on matters when she is delusionally suing them for shit that was completely her fault. In June of last year, basically like a month and a half after like kind of everything went down, she attempted to send a civil protection order to both Oz and Wonder, which were rejected by the courts, but she accuses Oz of some really terrible things in these orders. And here's Oz giving his statement on one of the things that was alleged, which was that he abused the dog in their relationship. Watch this. I do want to briefly talk about a few details in the CPO ordered against me, which, again, was denied. Where Blair accuses me of beating her dog, Casper. I deeply cared for him, and I find this accusation thrown into a CPO for sympathy from the judge to be revolting. I also, in my personal opinion, believe that this is further evidence of Blair twisting and manipulating facts, or in some cases, just outright lying. How fucking dare you accuse me of beating Casper after everything I did for you and him? Which, in your own video, Blair, you said it yourself. How much help I provided with Casper. So, just a disgusting lie put out by Blair. Of course, it's typical of her. I mean, everything she's been doing is a lie. But another part of this request was that Oz delete everything he has ever posted on social media regarding Blair, where it says, Blair requests that this court order Oz to delete all posts he has made to social media since April 23rd, 2023, pertaining to Sad Milk, Blair, or her social media platforms. Refrain from posting about Blair or her social media content on any of his social media accounts or on the social media accounts of others. Refrain from posting in the comment section of any of Blair's social media accounts. Refrain from interacting in any way with Blair's social media posts. Refrain from encouraging any third party to post in the comment section of her accounts or repost any of Blair's original content for any purpose and refrain from making any videos or media posts about Blair. So she's just openly trying to put out a gag order and silence him. I mean, it's completely transparent. She's always been absolutely delusional and insane, but this is just a new level of just open transparency of an attempted gag order to silence her opposition, I guess, if you can even say that. But then two months later, she also tried to file a restraining order against Oz which was once again rejected. And Oz explains the attempts at restraining orders here. The restraining orders in question were to once more prevent publication of any information on Blair. In this restraining order, Blair directly cites the video I was originally producing as a documentary on her actions as grounds to allow this pseudo gag order to proceed. Quoting this TRO, here, however, plaintiff's request for relief will cause defendants no harm because they simply must refrain from publishing what is essentially an online op-ed piece, which they have admitted will lambast plaintiffs. Should the court deem plaintiff's claims to be unnecessary, defendants can simply publish their video. And this is important because Blair's lawsuit entirely revolves around one section, which was actually deleted from her original lawsuit that she sent in. And this section is section 34, which Oz brings up multiple times. And it's where Blair is referencing her Illuminati exposed video that she made on her channel. She says, regarding the false accusations listed above, Blair made one public post attempting to debunk the misinformation. She has not publicly addressed this situation farther in an attempt to de-escalate it, which is not true because she ended up making a community post later. But also she removes this part of the lawsuit because the entire framing of it hinges on the idea that the click Oz and Wonder all just decided to randomly lambast Blair for no reason at all, and that Blair actually didn't make a public accusation towards any of them, including her randomly accusing Click of all those terrible, disgusting things that she did in her video, which were all complete falsehoods. So this was in her lawsuit before, but she's since removed it because she wants to hide the fact from the judge that she actually brought this upon herself through the post accusing legal eagle and then the following response video that she made so she's completely avoiding accountability in every single way and it's absolutely just disgusting so there's a few more intricate details that oz shows in that video but i really want to go to this next part which involves felix who is the other party involved which again was revealed to be the guy who sent this dm to illuminati that the click showed in her video the one about paying 200 dollars to dig up dirt on the click felix also reveals the surrounding context around the dm request that illuminati had sent him to find and dig up click saying the r word and we get to see the entire context where it starts off where she says hey are you still short on rent interesting question to ask rent no electric and phone yes i'm at minus two dollars right now no idea what i'm doing for lunch tomorrow but i'm in the fuck it i'll figure it out phase of my life illuminati i have something for you but it's a little tedious 
Felix, I mean, my life is nothing but tedium, so I can do it. Illuminati, I need you to work with blanks till we find the Arsler, and this is the part we already read. I'll pay you $200. Felix, yeah, just hand me the files and I can get started. $200 will help quite a bit. Then she sends a link. There's the file and a file and the file. Most will have Discord calls, and I think it happened within the first 10 minutes. Felix, I'll check the whole recording to be sure, so I'm looking at all four folders. And Illuminati responds, just go into the published file. So it's weird that she's also trying to use this like, hey, are you short on rent? Do you want to do dirt for me and go dig up shit for me behind this guy's back? It's very strange. Very, very strange. Well, Illuminati's entire lawsuit hinges on the idea that this violated their employee contract, which would be for the company Pyramid Entertainment LLC. But it's shocking to me that Blair even expects this to genuinely work in the court of law because this guy wasn't even hired to the Pyramid Entertainment LLC company until seven months after this DM happened. So it's like she's attempting to act as if the NDA that he signed regarding information involving her LLC somehow applies to every interaction she's ever had with any employee at all times, including over half a year prior to something that had absolutely nothing to do with Pyramid Entertainment LLC. And Oz repeats this here in the video. The simple truth is, this conversation was held November of 2020, and he was hired May of 2021. Blair is trying to claim that these were company communications and has framed it as such to make the lawsuit stick. And so once this all was revealed and Blair saw this, she attempted to immediately serve Felix a lawsuit for defamation and violating the NDA contract, which obviously doesn't fucking apply to the conversation that happened seven months prior. But she completely failed and dropped the ball at serving him his legal papers. And Felix made a tweet about it where he says, My former employer, Illuminati, is retaliating against me for things I've said and done after my employment ended. She had falsely claimed to have served me papers and is trying to force a default. Any help would be greatly appreciated. And then he links his GoFundMe. In Blair's lawsuit, they say that this statement is completely false. They say this statement implies that Blair committed the tort of abuse process, alleging A, an ulterior motive for the use of judicial proceeding, B, the willful use of legal proceedings in an improper manner, trying to force a default judgment without properly serving him, and C, damages, an impending default judgment against Felix. And they continue saying, well, the server signed a declaration that she served it on September to his place of abode, handing the required legal documents to an individual matching defendant's physical description, matching Felix's description. But it's actually just completely not true because the address that they allegedly delivered it to was two hours away from where Felix lives. And it was also allegedly delivered by postage where Felix's sister was able to get a hold of it. Just watch this part. Would have been delivered to Felix's stepfather's home within the official legal filing September 27th, 2023 at 6.40 p.m. This address is not his usual place of abode, which is even distinguished, despite the redactions I've made, by not being the address given for Felix in the very lawsuit Blair filed. At the time of delivery, Felix would need to drive nearly 150 miles an hour directly after his shift at work to be at said address in time to receive the papers from said processor. And so yeah, they allege that Felix was there and there's someone matching the physical description of him. When really he wasn't, he was at work, and as Oz describes, he would have had to drive 150 miles per hour instantly to get home by the time this processor allegedly handed the lawsuit to him. So he made this post, which is true, he didn't receive the papers, and then this is what Blair blames her downfall on. This post that Felix made was the cause of Blair's 95% drop in revenue that I mentioned earlier, where she lost so much money apparently. Let's just read this post. We can see exactly how much money Blair has lost now. Defendant Felix's statement caused special damages as evident by the fact that plaintiff's revenue from videos dropped by more than 95% after defendant's tweet was published from $74,000 in the period of November 23 to December 2023 to $2,700 during the same period a year later. And this is so mind boggling to me because maybe I'm getting this wrong and totally misinterpreting what Oz is saying. And if that's the case, correct me in the comments because this just doesn't make any sense to me and I truly don't believe it. But she's basically trying to say that Felix's post that he made asking for GoFundMe money where he alleged that Blair improperly served him was the cause of her losing all her money. It wasn't her actions or, I don't know, all the videos made against her to expose her insane delusional mind. It was Felix's post asking for GoFundMe money. She, did she really put this into the lawsuit? Is this, am I misinterpreting this or is this really what it is? Because to me, that is fucking insane. I can't even believe, I literally was trying to find if I was reading this wrong and I, I don't know how else I'm supposed to interpret this, but it really is just totally delusional. But now I get to my absolute favorite part of the lawsuit where Illuminati includes sections that she morally grandstands above using the R slur and that she would never ever say the R word in any context at all because it's just so terrible. 
And yes, she actually included this in legal proceedings. I'm not, I'm not joking. It starts off where she mentions the screenshots that were in Click's video about the $200 payment. Then they show number 116, which is this part of the lawsuit that shows this screenshot where Oz is having a conversation with allegedly Felix the Kit Kat. And Felix says, which I don't have a problem with the word retarded, but she does for some reason, even though she uses it in private. And this whole section is now relating to that this, even though she uses it in private parts, is also a reason for her downfall and loss of money. It says, Defendant Felix then asserts that Blair, though she publicly disapproves of the arsler, uses it in private. This statement carries a defamatory meaning because it implies that Blair is both a hypocrite. Defendant Felix published this statement with negligent disregard for its truthfulness because he concedes that he has no proof to substantiate his claim. And then Oz shows that she did use back in 2020 some program to delete like almost 500 tweets including tweets where she could have possibly said the word retarded, while also showing that she made some amazingly morally grandstanding posts in her Discord where she says, Click saying the arsler just because it was 10 years ago and it's irrelevant, that's super yikes to me. Again, I'm not the same age as Click and that word wasn't ever in my vocabulary. Not 10 years ago, not now because it was never appropriate. Wow, she's really just so smart and intelligent. She's such a good person. Well, luckily that program didn't delete media. And we have an amazing tweet here that she made in 2017, where she's DMing someone who asks if she's a catfish after she posted some photo of her ass. And he says, sigh, playing hard to get, I see. No, you're fucking retarded. Go away. I don't have time for you. I was joking. Sounds good. So she's unironically filing a legal complaint saying that she's never used the R word and that this guy was slandering her because in a Discord message she said that she uses it in a private. And on her fucking Twitter page, there's her just saying it openly. It's actually just reached new levels that I'm just shocked to see. I, I don't believe it. Like I've always known Illuminati is just insane. I've always known this and I feel like a lot of people on the internet have known this. But this is just a new level of like attempting to manipulate and I wouldn't even say pettiness because pettiness is almost like a positive thing for some people. Some people like being petty. Or some people can take being petty as like, oh, he, he, I'm just petty. It's like, no, you are deranged. You're not petty. You're not a cutesy little petty. No, you're deranged. You should not be allowed anywhere near the legal system at all. Like, you are just insane. So yeah, Oz Media then makes a proposal at the end, saying that he wants to just kind of put this all behind him, which I don't blame him at this point. He opens up about personal stuff that's been going on between him and his girlfriend, and saying he's just trying to get his life back, which is totally fair. But he proposes to Illuminati to settle this by dropping all the claims against him and other parties and that they can find a neutral third party person to host a discussion where she can clear her name and come out on top if she so believes that she is innocent. She has like five days to agree to this or else they're just going to go through with all the normal legal proceedings. And I would love to see that. I mean, that would be one great content. But two, Oz is right in the fact that this lawsuit will not fix Blair's public image. If anything, it's completely destroyed it more and more every day. And if she really believes she's innocent, that would be a great way for her to put her words out there and make a case. But I don't believe she'll do it because I think Blair knows that she is completely in the shitter and there's just no hope of saving herself. But anyway, like I said, there's a ton more details in this shit. I don't have time today to go over all of it in a video, but if you guys really want to see more, let me know in the comments. I can do a follow-up or maybe a stream, but I appreciate you guys tuning in. Thank you so much for the daily videos. Support, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.